Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to do some basic edits to audio tracks using Audacity Audio Editor. So in the previous tutorial we downloaded the software and installed it on the computer and today we're going to look at this software and do some basic audio editing. So on this in this folder I have this music track so I'm just going to drag and drop that music track onto the editor and here on the timeline we'll see the actual audio track itself so we can basically use these two buttons here to move to the beginning or the end of the track so that's a nice quick easy way to move to the beginning or the end and we can click the play button and we hear the music track play and let's assume that we want to edit this music track do some basic edits to it so let's assume that we want the audio track to start from this position here we can see there's some differentiation in the audio track here so we click play it's like the break in the audio this part here and that's where we want the audio track to start so we can position our mouse cursor here and we, then we can select using the left mouse click uh, and dragging across to select this part of the audio then we can use this button here and this will cut the audio so we can click that there and now we can click play and we can hear the audio track start here but really we don't want it to just start as it does right now we really want it to fade in so we're going to select again this part of the audio track and we're going to go to effects and you can see loads of different effects here and in this case we want to select fade in now when we click the play button we'll click this back arrow and click play We can hear the audio track faded in quite nicely. Now sometimes uh, it's not really music in these tracks, it might be speech. And when it comes to speech, you really want to be able to cut the audio quite accurately. And to do that, we can hold down the control key and use the mouse wheel to zoom in. Then we can even pick out specific words. So this could have been a couple of words that you want to cut out of the audio. Then you can really get quite accurate with your cutting by zooming in quite cl close to the audio track and cutting out specific words or specific parts of the audio track itself. So that's how I'll do that. So let's zoom back out. I'll hold down the control key and use the mouse wheel to zoom back out. And in some cases, you may want to cut certain parts of the audio, like in the middle here. So we can just simply left click and drag across to select certain parts of the audio. And you can see like there's these two different arrows. So you can drag across here. pick specific parts of the audio and then edit them and cut them out using this cut tool. Now in this case, I may just want to get rid of all of this section of the audio. I may want it to be quite short because it's for a YouTube video or it's for some sort of audio content that I'm creating. Um, and I just want to get rid of this part here. So I'm going to just use the cut tool here and cut that out. And at the end, I want to fade that out. So I'm going to select again the end part of the audio and I'll go to effects and then I'll click fade out. So now we've got the audio track fading in and fading out. Let's just check that fade out. So we've got a really nice fade in and fading out and we can see that we've done some basic cuts to the audio. So this is really just a beginner's tutorial. I will do some more advanced tutorials at a later date. I just want to show you how to do some basic audio editing. You can also speed up and slow down the audio track. So to speed it up and slow it down, you can use this tool here. This is the playback speed. So right now it's set to one speed, basically. It's original speed, but we can increase that to like 1.25 and click this green play button. Here the audio track is quite fast now and if you want to set it back to its original uh, speed you can drag it across and find one again or if you want to do it a quicker way let's say set to here you can just double click on the button and then just set this to one and then click OK and it will be back at its original playback speed. 
So there's loads of other different options and tools in here. You can do um, stuff like uh, enveloping, and that's that's a little bit more complicated. I think we'll leave some of these more advanced elements to a separate tutorial. I just wanted to show you how to do some real basic editing, fading in and fading out and cutting the audio. In the next tutorial, we'll try and look at some more advanced features. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.